Welcome back to our coverage from Tahoe, presented by Dollar Shave Club, Epic Razors, Epically Affordable, in stores or online. We're joined now by a guy that was, and I'm not just blowing smoke here, David. You were legitimately, and we got the best feedback on it. You were our favorite interview from last year. Thank you for being so kind. Oh, geez. And congratulations yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it on the trophy It's a high honor. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Well, Consolation prize. <laughs> nice, nice cold water. I, I mean, you're it. making yourself. Oh, we gave we gave you a nice comfy <laughs> yeah. spot. Oh, well, I know. An I'm, inflatable I'm, couch and a water. I'm, I'm sunken <laughs> in. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of fun games that we want you to weigh in on. But before we do, last we spoke to you, uh, you said you hadn't watched baseball for years. That the game uh, just wasn't that fun to watch for you. Now they've made some changes to the game. Yeah. Uh, there's pitch clock. The the shift has been removed to a degree. Have they done oh, anything yeah. to bring you back, or are you still not watching baseball? No, I watched a game uh, a couple weeks ago in San Diego, and then a few weeks before that, I was in New York. I saw maybe two innings at the, <laughs> at the game there. So, so but, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, oh, you know what? I was I was occupied by uh, consumption of. <laughs> alcohol there you <laughs> go right and, and just talking with people and doing all that but you know it's just it's just hard to watch i mean i mean to me it's it's the greatest game in the world obviously i'm biased because i played it but you know and that's what i grew up i played all the sports but you know when they start changing all these rules and you know making the game a lot easier you know they're trying to speed it up if they're going to speed it up you know people can leave whenever they want mm. if you don't want to stay nine leave after seven innings you know the umpire is always bitching and complaining about this and that and you know and then manfred this guy's a tool you know? <laughs> i mean he's probably the biggest tool of all commissioners you know so to me for him to change these games i think he hates baseball yeah is what he does because he's, he's trying to implement well, well, all these bs rules well you guys have something in common then <laughs> well, uh, well he chased me out of it yeah. he, he won yeah. he won so it's gonna be funny about manfred because hands down very unpopular no one likes him but his legacy may ultimately be oh he kind of did fix baseball what did he degree. fix these rule changes the one thing that yeah, i yeah but say wells that doesn't view out, them as fixed well, well the that. thing that i would say that stands out now is with the the elimination of the shift there seems to be more of an encouragement of at least hitters that are willing to spray it to all parts of the field it's not as much home run or strikeout based as it's been it was home run strikeout walk which is boring nobody wants to watch that there's no action but now there's there's more base runners there's more stolen bases there's more guys getting on base via the single which you wouldn't think is all that exciting but you need to have action on the bases right well, well, game's a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It, I, I, I guess if you want to, just put it on a damn tee. <laughs> you know, just let them do that. I mean, make yeah. the bases three times bigger than what they are, so they can get closer. Fair. Now they're putting on that glove, mm-hmm. so that glove can be out to here, so you're getting another four or five inches uh-huh. to get in there. It's stupid. Mm. You know, Babe, Babe Ruth's rolling over in his grave right now. You're I right. guarantee you, he is. But to do that, you got what? You after the third, if you don't get to pick him up the third time, he gets second base awarded yeah. second base stupid mm-hmm. you know it's just it's a joke now does he i don't even know does he get to a, re- a rewarded uh, stolen base i don't believe it's a stolen base in the statistics then you know what i believe it's indifference it, it, it's that it's just to me it's stupid and then putting a guy on second base and you know an and, and extra innings mm-hmm. who we'll wants get- to watch We'll get Sorry, back to my, the, pardon my plan. No, 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 no you're fine. good. We love you. This is why we love you. That's okay? what you get David Wells on. Yes. You want that? This is what you want. Yes. want that. Uh, we will get back to baseball in a second because oh. we have two games. You okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Let's go, let's go on with you. Just sink it into the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, I'm interested I'm in your um, – I know you – well, so am I. I'm it's Tahoe. Tahoe. But I'm, I'm interested here. in your golf game real quick. How would you play today? Who would you play with? Tell us – like take us through the round. Take us through your day today if you don't No, know. we played – actually, we played well. I hit the ball pretty good. Yeah. You know, normally just my first round out here this year, so – Tomorrow we get another room, uh, round in the afternoon, so I'll try. I'll just try different shots with different clubs, you know, until we start Friday. Because you know, last couple of years hasn't hasn't been the greatest for me out here. But uh, you know, for me to go out there and just try to compete, you know, I just want to get 10, 15 points a day. And anything over that's a bonus. Right. Yeah, and then I'm right in the middle of the pack. A few drinks, hang out with friends. It's Word to that. I can't believe what's happened to me where now I'm the guy trying to sell baseball to others. Right, you're selling game. baseball to David, David Wells. Wells. David Wells. Right. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wells went out there and threw nine innings and would go 11 if he had to. He didn't care. Like, he doesn't want to. That was our job. It's that yeah, part, that right? was our job yes. to go out there and do it. And. You know, now these kids are fired up. They get five innings. That's a quality start. (laughs) Woo-hoo! You know, it's like, who are they going to put in the Hall of Fame? 
Yeah. You know, with the, I mean, you got Scherzer and Verlander who are locked, lock-ons. Uh, I think maybe, Kersh- I don't know, Kershaw, Kershaw. maybe. Kershaw. But, yeah. you know, Even that but here's the thing. He doesn't have 200 wins. Mm-hmm. My man. But he's got. <laughs> my guy. But Sandy Koufax Not didn't either. Not great in the And look what like Sandy Koufax Peak did. Peak your dominance. Yeah. You know, Pedro played, what, 12 years? But he was so dominant right. and deserving. So, to me, you know, it's just like, who are they going to do? Because you don't have the complete games. You don't have, you don't have the innings. I think last year one guy had 200 innings. Yeah, I think it was think Sandy it was Gar- Alcantara. Right? Yeah, he won the right. Cy Young. Right. So I mean, that's sad when you're doing mm-hmm. that, and they're paying. I'm pissed because they're paying these guys 10, 20, 30 million a year now. Just to go two times through the order. You know, and if I David Wells, Cone, if someone dare come try to take well, you David out after Cone, five innings, you would have yelled at them. Like, oh, well, look at the guys. <laughs> what do you think Bob Gibson would be making these? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, they should probably be at 70 million a year. <laughs> right. You know, so it's God bless. I mean, the money, it's it's there. But I don't think they understand where, how they got to where they're at because of the guys before my time and so on, bringing it up there and fighting for our rights. And we had to go through all these strikes and all that. But uh, these guys don't know the game of baseball. They know how to play the game, right. but they don't know the history of the game. And to me, that's, that, that's just a shame when you don't have a guy, you know, every guy in that field should know the history of the game and what it means. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's... They don't have to worry about it. They play one year and they're set for life. Well, ironically, God speaking, bless him, though. speaking yeah. with Luis Arias, who's Definitely. chasing 400, talking to him about Ted Williams, like he didn't know who Ted Williams was coming into the league. Yeah. Now, this is a guy from Venezuela who didn't you know, watch that much Major League Baseball growing up. But do you think the, the game has been changed this way because of like showcase baseball, all these kids at a young age not really being taught, hey, you need to compete deep into the games, but hey, you need to hit blank on the radar gun or you need to have blank Well, that's what as they're forcing velocity. them to do. Mm-hmm. So, like when I was coaching at Point Lamont, high when I retired and then all of a sudden after a few years of doing it these kids were doing these uh, showcases like perfect game right and, and doing all that and I just said no you're not going I said if you go I said you're getting suspended for two games they're wow. like that's not fair coach I said yeah it is I said because what happens if you're pitching you know you're pitching then you go there and you got you're warming up they want you to light up the radar gun mm-hmm. and and do that and they're like well I'll be able to pitch no you're not gonna do it so I said Take the chance. If I find out you go, I'm suspending you two games. And then, sure enough, I had two guys that went and Tommy John, high mm. school, wow. because right, of as that as they can. stuff. And really? yeah, and it's I, I think the body yeah. needs rest, so you don't need to play all year round. And these and these entities are are putting these parents in a really gnarly spot because of the fact that they're they're if you don't let your kid play all year round, he's gonna he's gonna fall back. He's gonna 100%. fall behind. Like our school system right now mm-hmm. after COVID, you know right. that what's her name, Randy Weingarten, mm-hmm. she blocked all the kids, and now the kids are way behind, like four years behind. Yeah. So it's oh, it, my, uh, minor league baseball players they lost development too because of COVID. Oh my like, God, yeah. and college mm-hmm. players did too. Mm-hmm. Right, everybody's so it's behind. just it's a shame. So they're they're forcing these kids to play all year round, and they're just going to burn them out. And I think that you know a lot of kids are just going to find some of the, yeah. I say enjoy your summer, chase chicks. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know, go go get a job. Yeah. Go be David Go surfing, do it all yeah. if you can, but then, you know, David get Wells. back in there. And play <laughs> every be sport. David Wells I, for yeah. the summer. I love the idea of David Wells as a manager. Like, to me, that's exciting. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. It'd be interesting. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Like, yeah. What? I just, He doesn't no. like the game. It does <laughs> me, no. I know, I he tried, helping kids out. I like, tried to get in. Right. I tried to get into the game. I couldn't get a job. I got mm. shunned every really? time. Oh, yeah, I went everywhere. I called every GM that I knew, tried to get an interview. To I said, I'll go to the minor leagues. Really? And work my way up just to show that I want to teach and, and, and coach. And I got nothing. So I said, have a nice day. Wait, after all you did for, wow. for a couple of different organizations, yeah. they had the audacity to say no to David Wells? They did. They thought I was still that guy. I went out every night drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I was coaching, though, because <laughs> I didn't coach. Yeah. But when I played, I did. It was great. We've got a couple minutes with you, and we want you to weigh in on a couple things that we've been talking about all week. Uh, game for your life, yeah. A pitcher game for your life. Uh, we were kind of, you were so good during the regular season that we kind of held it against you that you weren't so much better in the postseason. And we elevated guys like Beckett and Madison Bumgarner because they were just so much better. So if you had a pitcher game for your life, who wait you going a second. With? You were too. Last good in the time I looked season. on my record, I was I won ten games in yes, playoffs. You did. Yeah. How, no, many, how many did how many did Beckett have? No, but here's the deal, Wells. I mean, if if we Beckett, can, Beckett's gonna pull 
O three out. No, no, time if we're out. going head to head. But David, if we have you as, as an option, we know you're going to choose yourself. So yeah. the point of this game is to not present yourself as an option. So, uh, oh, I'm never going to pick myself. You wouldn't. There's Why? one. There, you were such a great big game well, I mean, Because I said I'm not going to self promote, like you just said. <laughs> so, but, but I, I, I know who I would have on that mound every time. Okay. Is that guy here? Is he playing in this tournament? No. Okay. Were you teammates with him? Yes. Was it Andy Pettit? Yes. Uh, Andy Pettit. That's uh, the guy ding, we ding, said ding, yesterday. Ding, 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 ding. Andy Pettit was probably the biggest game pitcher, uh, you know, in my in my time. The guy just dealt. He was spectacular. Yeah, he yeah. was awesome. I don't know, but Beckett in 03, can, uh, he well, has a couple of main. Well, head head. put it this way. If I wasn't hurt and had back surgery in 03, and I was healthy, it might have been a different story. I like that. Uh, no, you know, Brad Penny no, beat me twice that year. Penny, Penny beat him twice that year. Yeah. Penny beat you twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I had an great. injection eight hours before the first game. <laughs> Otherwise, Penny would have beat you. Yes. I couldn't touch my kneecaps. I, I blew my back out. <laughs> oh, no. And yeah. Another thing that we want you to Wait, how many on. names before I get to Smoltz? Like, how many names? Smoltz is right up there, right? For a big for game? game for your life. No. 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 How about Cone? Coney, yes. Okay. How, you Coney's go, in there. How, how about the Rocket? Mm, no. No. No, no I would take Pettit over Rocket. Yeah, Pettit over Rocket for sure in the postseason. Right. What they should be. Jack right. Morris. So uh, yeah. All right, another thing that Not we want you to weigh in on. Right we have a list of people that we think just look like baseball. <laughs> and the king of the mountain, we decided, was Craig Biggio. You almost have to have a dirty helmet. Like, we can't see the logo on your batting helmet. You got to have eye black. Some of the other names, just so you know that we got them on there. We got Jim Edmonds, Lenny Dykstra, Pete Rose, Jason Veritek, Can Kemeniti, Dustin Pedroia, Derek Jeter, uh, Thurman Munson's on here. I believe David Wells is on there. We yeah. have David Wells. We have David Eckstein. We just, have Mike Lieberthal. Just, just a whole bunch of names of guys baseball. who look like Lieberthal. baseball. So we need your answer. That guy was Lieberthal awesome. got you. <laughs> <laughs> got you. They were going for good you names with Lieberthal in you. Uh, a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Who's baseball? So who is baseball? The definitive answer. Who is baseball? Everybody you just mentioned right there. Pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. well, Let's just yeah, say David like, Wells. Like somewhere Let's say David Wells. Wells. No, if I'm going to take, I mean, for me, because he was so clean, Ken Griffey Jr., he Ooh, was baseball. That's a great one. Great He was yeah. baseball. For a whole generation. Amazing. Great choice. So baseball and Roberto Alomar. Oh, it's a baseball. good one. Good one. Okay. I mean, you got to, I mean, he spat on Two of the greatest so. players I ever played with yeah. in the history of the game. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. if you want to follow – David and his golf game. Make sure to tune in to Peacock and NBC Sports throughout the weekend and watch American Century Championship. Two years running, one of our favorite guests. I can't say that too loud because Jay Billis is coming up next. Oh, Jay's a good man. <laughs> you might but, win he's, but he's politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> but you might Aren't win, you, Jay? You no. might win back-to-back -back best guest of the year. We'll see what Billis does, but no, you might that, win it back-to-back -back here. He is He is meant for this mic. <laughs> he is meant. He is He is. You, you can't say anything bad about the guy. You're meant for that. And lake. I've been looking for stuff, and I just can't find it. <laughs> you so. are meant for that lake. So go cannonball into that lake, because I know that's what you want to go do. Oh, right I now. can't wait. It's going to be a thing of beauty. We appreciate yeah, you. I'm going to be David. free Willie out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. All right. Thanks, All right. Have David. fun this weekend. Oh.